Hey folks, Happy New Year. I'll try to get a little more regular on the videos here for 2022. So I want to talk real quick about something that is not supported natively in Fusion, and that's the non-uniform scaling of sketches. There's no way to do it for whatever reason. You can do it with bodies, but you can't do it with sketches. So by way of example here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch here on the front plane, and we're going to make some text on here, just because text makes for a nice example. And I'm going to throw my text in here. I'm going to finish this sketch. So now I've got text, but of course I can't scale this in any, uh, in any non-uniform way. I can make the whole thing bigger or smaller, but I can't stretch it, for example. So the way around this is to do an extrude. We're going to do an extrude of our text, and it doesn't really matter how much. I'll do a one millimeter extrude to create a couple of bodies. So now I have a few bodies in my original sketch. So at this point, just to make sure I don't get mixed up, I'm going to hide my sketch and I'm going to do a scale non-uniformly on my body. So I'm going to select those, and we're going to come up here to scale. And I'm going to make sure that non-uniform is selected over here. And I'm going to say stretch it real far in this direction. Okay. Now I've got two bodies, and importantly in the timeline, I've got a scale operation. At this point, I'm going to create another sketch, and we're going to make it on the same face. And what we're going to do on this one, I'm going to hide the original sketch, but I'm going to leave my bodies presented. And I'm going to bring up the project option and make sure that this projection link option is checked off. Now I'm going to select uh, the faces of those two bodies and hit OK. Come up here now and hide those bodies. So now what that'll do for me is that'll create a sketch that has essentially the text on it stretched to the appropriate amount. Now, because the order of operations that we did down here, we can actually go back and do a couple of different things. One, if we edit our original sketch and the original text in our original sketch, we should see that when we finish that sketch, all of our logic flows from that. So now we have A, B, and it's stretched. And obviously the reason that happened is because our bodies are derived from sketch one, our stretch is applied to the bodies, and our secondary sketch is derived from the project of, the, uh, of those bodies. So this isn't the ideal way to get this done, but it does get it done uh, in terms of a way to get stretched uh, or non-uniformly scaled sketches. Hope that was helpful. Talk to you all next time.